Please put your hands together for Tony Kameen. It's my favorite club in the country. I'm always, every year I'm happy to come here. This year I'm extra happy to, co to come here because previous to this I was performing uh, in Idaho because I'm successful. <laughs> And it was my first time there, and people were warning me, like, oh, be careful, because in some parts of Idaho, they don't tolerate minorities. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. And I was like, oh, shit. Because, uh, hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty fat, so. Uh, fortunately, not, not a minority. Uh, there in Boise. Anyway, um, <laughs> felt, felt pretty good about myself. So we do the show there in Boise, and uh, a good show, nothing to worry about. However, the next, it, n early in the morning, the next day, at like 5.30, we had to rent a car and drive to Minneapolis, due east, if you know your map. <laughs> and it's, let me just tell you, and maybe you know this, it's, it's for some part of the morning, it's impossible to drive due east. There's one trucker back in the... <laughs> <laughs> and, and why is that, sir? He's still laughing. Because it's the sun. The sun's rising and it's all... Ah! Ah, sun. Oh, sun, sun, sun. Or El Gato for our Spanish uh, friends. Um... <laughs> I, I, I did flunk uh, Spanish, <laughs> but I still use it with great confidence, <laughs> so bear with me. Um, and I'm not, uh, I'm not dumb, I mean, I'm not a, a genius, I'm middle, you know, uh, I know how to work a car, you put the flat visors down, right? Well, <laughs> but let me tell you about those flat visors, they don't get everything, do they? No, sorry, anger. No, they don't. Because <laughs> where the rear view attache area is, and again, I'm not a mechanic. I don't know what you call it. The rear, where the rear view just magically sticks to the thing, the flat visor doesn't quite uh, catch everything. There's a little gap here, a little gap on the other side. So basically, there's a square inch of pure fucking fire <laughs> streaming directly into lefty. I know, I know, I heard you. But I was looking in the mirror when I named him. <laughs> also, I can name my eyes whatever the fuck I want to name them. <laughs> this one's Whiskey Pete and it likes vodka. <laughs> this is gonna be a long show. Uh, <laughs> it's still my first joke, anyway. So anyway, I'm trying to drive and block out that little gap of, of sun, and I swear to God, you guys, in Idaho, people will do this right back to you as you drive. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> no, ah, no. No, ah, no. Ah, no. I'm trying to block out something different. So it's nice to be back in America. <laughs> I feel, I feel kind of bad because it's a nice hotel and everything, but I feel, I'm a little out of it, so I apologize. I didn't get any, hardly any sleep last night. C kind of a classic st story because this couple was having the loudest <laughs> and, and like craziest sex for like hours and hours right on the internet and... <laughs> I, I had to watch, you know, I'm, I'm paying for it, so. I, get, I mean, I guess you could say my hands were tied. Um, we were just in Northern California, I saw my family there, and um, that's fun, and uh, you know, uh, my, my dad's a good, great dad, super nice, great, God, good guy, good guy. 
but he was cheap. He was a cheap ass dad. Here's a little anecdote. When I was a kid, and I was a cute kid, I don't know what the fuck happened, but <laughs> my hobby was fish. I loved fish, but my dad was too cheap to take us to the San Francisco Aquarium, where I'm from. This cheap bastard, <laughs> he would just take us to the fish market. <laughs> yeah. That's cheap and cruel if your son likes fish. <laughs> He's like, look, son, there's the majestic halibut. They sleep in piles. I'm like, Dad, those are breaded. Yeah, that's their blankie, son. It's cold in freezers. And that's that dad logic you can't even argue with. Like, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. Saw my grandmother, too. She's 98 years old. Yeah. Don't, no, please don't clap. I did nothing to make that woman's life any longer. But thank you. And she's a, she's a feisty uh, little Italian lady, about this high. And last winter, last hol over the holidays, we were watching football. And one of the players got hit right in the crotch with a ball. And she goes, oh, he got it right in the gizmo. <laughs> and I was like, yes, thank you, Grandma. Because that's how I want my grandma to think of a penis is a gizmo. <laughs> You know, because a gizmo is a gadget or a contraption that one is unfamiliar with. <laughs> and I like that in a grandma penis relationship. <laughs> you know? I don't want her referring to that part of the body as something she's fond of. <laughs> Say the guy gets hit with a ball. Oh, that guy got it right in the hard candy. Mmm. <laughs> I love to suck on hard, big black hard candy. Just kidding, she's dead. Anyway. <laughs> how long have you guys been married? Six years. That's a good, that's good, right? It's good. I'm about the same. I just got, I, that's my, I'm, I'm on my first marriage, fairly recently, about the same for me, for my age. And um, I love it, love being married. And it's great. Now, it was so sad and ironic that gay people couldn't get married. Because, and this is from the heart, not even really a joke, because let me tell you honestly, and you can back me up. Marriage is by far the fucking gayest thing I have ever been involved with. <laughs> Besides New Year's Eve 07, it is the gayest thing. <laughs> you remember 07. Um, no, I used to play poker and music with my friends, go out, now I sit around watching Bravo reality shows about dressmaking <laughs> with a girl and a girl dog. And I love it! I'm like, those aren't Dolman sleeves. Excuse me, what the fuck happened to me? <laughs> I love it. Although, uh, once in a while, I'll slip and I'll uh, refer to her as my girlfriend. Oh, yeah, laugh it up. <laughs> no, it's because we, date, we dated, for two reasons, really, because we dated for a long time before we got married, and because um, I still like her. <laughs> so, so, you guys want me to whip it out again? I will. <laughs> right here. No, 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 don't misunderstand. I'm not shitting on marriage. Best thing that ever happened to me, besides Conan. However, <laughs> however, uh, uh, <laughs> I do think the word wife is kind of negative, you know? Because it's like one, there's no room for fun in that. It's like one syllable, uh, probably German, wife. It's not a fun <laughs> word, you know? <laughs> now, now, like a girlfriend's a fun word, because it's like, girlfriend. <laughs> Fun. It sounds like weekend, <laughs> and and those are fun. <laughs> Wife sounds like life, <laughs> and that is long and hard, my friend. <laughs> and all you single people, let me tell you right now, you don't even know the meaning of the word casual sex until you've been married. Oh, laugh it up. True. True story. True story. The other night. True story. <laughs> the other night, my wife and I did it, and the whole time, she never stopped reading her book. 
Pretty casual. Pretty casual. She was on her Kindle and I was in her nook. Thanks a lot, you guys. Have a great time with Arch.